It's currently 3.45 in the morning, and today I'm running 100 miles. Well, technically not me. We're actually doing a race called the Keys 100. We're all watching the door. Wake up time was 3.45. It's currently 3.48. We have arrived in the Keys. The original Iron Pig is here with his original Iron Pig's hat. Thank you very much. We got Cyril, we got Callum, <laughs> Lorenzo, and Christian. All ready to And uh, we are ready to start the Keys 100. So the Keys 100 is a 100 mile race, goes from Key Largo to Key West, usually takes about 12, 13 hours. Um, there are 130 teams I think this year. So the race is divided into different legs, ranging from a mile to even like three and a half, and there's a seven mile bridge in the middle. At each exchange point, runner one passes a baton to runner two. Then runner one gets in the vehicle with the rest of the team and they drive to the next exchange point. There runner three gets out of the car, finds runner two, and the next exchange is complete. So just got back from the first leg which was around 2.1 miles. It was a little hard already up to I think 83 degrees. Um, but it wasn't too bad because I had a nice senorita talking to me for half of it, so. So the team name is the Iron Pigs. And uh, there's a look at our hat right there. And basically, it was one of our team members did an Ironman back in the Bahamas years ago. And his call sign was the Iron Pig. Um, so we've kind of taken the name, and this is our sixth year doing this race. So I just finished my third leg of the run. We're around 20, mile 25, I believe, so a quarter of the way through. And I've started to realize that there's four basic frames of mind that you go through. The first stage is total excitement, whether it be your first leg of the whole race, or you, know, you haven't been running for about an hour, an hour and a half because of the breaks. You're out there, you're really excited, you're gonna make up some time for your team, and you really can't go wrong. Second phase is shock. You're a few minutes into your leg, the ice in your hat has melted, and your sunglasses start to get all foggy. The temporary illusion that they give you that you're running in the shade wears off, and you suddenly start to wonder why the heck you're doing this kind of race. Right behind me, Hell's Tunnel. Two, I don't know, maybe three miles of solid mangroves on either side, zero wind flow, and you never want to get this leg. Listen, did you make it to hell? I repented for all my sins. And you're good now? A good confession. Really? I'm good now. No wind in the air, 3.3 miles, longest leg yet. Seven mile bridge is gonna be hell. <laughs> this is literally the worst thing that you can do in May in the Florida Keys. Run seven miles uncovered, straight, because it's kind of unsafe to uh, to switch runners here. The Keys 100 people say that one person has to do the entire thing. So look how far I'm zooming just to even see the halfway point. That's the halfway point at the top of that bridge. Poor little guy.
That's what Cyril's running Cyril. right now. How many times? Seven miles. Behind me there in the blue shirt, you can see some 50 milers. So some of these guys and ladies do uh, 50 miles one day. They start about around that seven mile bridge point and then continue all the way to Key West. So pretty intense. Stage three, you start to feel like that. Twins. Good set of twins. <laughs> That was so awkwardly phrased. <laughs> Good set of twins. Last phase, which is excitement, and uh, we're getting pretty ready to see Key West. Christian's about to hit is one mile, the shortest stint of the entire race. Christian, how does it feel? Going to our last handoff. Just what we need on the sand. Oh. Nice. Oh. Tired, but tired, but and just like that, we're done with the Keys 100. 